I didn't feel overly drunk. I was sort of between very tipsy and smashed. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a mukbang. And this video is actually in collaboration with the one and only Madison Mukbang. And we are going to be swapping styles today. So uh, Madison is a mukbang channel and as you know I am an ASMR channel and we're going to be switching formats. So I'm going to be doing the mukbang today and Madison's going to be doing ASMR. So please go check out her video after mine. I'm going to leave a link to it up above and in the description below. Um, I really really can't wait to see her ASMR video because I have a little feeling it's going to be more on the funny side um, just because she's a cheeky little thing. So just a couple of little disclaimers before I start. Uh, number one, I've never done a mukbang before so I have no idea what I'm doing and I don't even know if what I'm going to talk about is interesting. Um, and number two, uh, this is a lot of food. I'm not going to eat it all. I'm just going to eat until I'm full. Um, I know there are quite a few um, mukbangers who do eat large amounts of food and finish everything on the plate. And I know that there are people who enjoy that. So if that's something you enjoy, um, that's not what you're going to get here. I'm sorry. But, you know, you can watch anyway or you can just click out of the video. Um, there's no way I can eat all this food. No way. So what have we got here? We've got um, a vegan mac and cheese. We've got onion rings. We've got some ranch sauce for the onion rings. And we've got this chocolate cake, which I actually did an ASMR for yesterday. So it's two o'clock, three o'clock. And I haven't eaten anything today, so I'm starving. I can't wait to get into all of this. But first, I'm going to make an iced coffee um, to go with all this, because I think it will, be, it will be really nice. And I thought I would make it on camera. So I've got this West, oh, what is it called? I forgot. Sorry, Califia Farms um, iced coffee which I'm going to mix with some plain soy milk. I've got my glass here with ice. So I like to put in half iced coffee. Oh, what am I doing? I'm supposed to put chocolate sauce on. I like to um, kind of drizzle that down the side of the cup. I hope I don't spill this on my carpet. Yum. And this chocolate syrup is the Hershey's brand. Just the regular chocolate and it's vegan. So if you have that available to you, I highly recommend it. And okay, so we're going to put in the iced coffee. The shake first. So I like to put in about that much coffee and the rest with soy milk. And this is the brand I use. I think it's only available in Australia. There we go. And then I like to add some vanilla ice cream. This is the Yokonut vanilla ice cream coconut based ice cream um, by Aldi. You can get that at any Aldi store in Australia. Oh, it's a bit melted now. Just pop that in there. And as usual, I'm making a mess. In there. Get in there. Uh, okay, yeah, I filled it too high. <laughs> and then we enjoy. And I've, I filled it way, way, way too high. Mm. That is so good. Mm -mm. Okay, now that I've got my drink, I can start. I am going to start with a bite of the chocolate cake. I don't know why I just whispered that. Oh, 
making a mess all the time. It is so good. Let's get a bite of this as well. So good. Mm. That is so good. I'll leave a recipe for this as well in the description. So I'm going to tell you a silly little story that happened to me 12 years ago and it is how I passed out drunk in an expensive cocktail dress and freaked my boyfriend out. This story starts or took place at my place of work at the time. I was working in marketing and um, our department did a lot of events for customers and we held this particular event like a really fancy um, cocktail evening all expenses paid dinner slash meet and greet for our top tier customers the customers who spent a lot of money with the company. And these were retail customers, so it wasn't um, a business to business relationship, it was business to consumer. So these were customers who were buying um, consumer items and spending a lot of money with our company. So we held this um, evening for them to meet some of the staff um, and it was held in Cockle Bay Wharf. If you're in Sydney, you would probably know where that is. It's a really sort of fancy, fancy schmancy area. And it was um, open bar, canapes, cocktail attire, really fancy, really expensive. So I went with my team, the marketing team, to set everything up and interact with our guests, our customers. And because it was um, open bar, I had a few drinks. <laughs> I think I was on champagne that night. I've been having champagne. <clears throat> so I met up with this one particular customer who I had been um, liaising with through email and phone anyway we already had a bit of a relationship there um, but I finally got to meet her in person and she was just a beautiful woman. I think she was Mauritian. She had this beautiful dark skin, model looks, um, absolutely gorgeous. And we really hit it off. And she brought her daughter along with her and we hit it off as well. Um, so I spent most of the night with those two ladies drinking.
I feel like my story is going to end before I eat too much food. <laughs> so the evening ends around midnight and um, they asked me if I wanted to kick on with them in the city and I declined. because I'd already made plans to meet up with my boyfriend and some friends. And that boyfriend was Mr. Herbivore. We're still together. Um, we had just started dating. Yeah, we had just started dating at that point. So literally like a couple of months we were dating. So I apologized to them and said that I had plans and I hopped in a cab, a taxi to go home. <clears throat> um, by that point, I didn't feel overly drunk. I was sort of between very tipsy and smashed I was I mean I was drunk but I didn't feel out of control or anything like that so I hopped in the cab it was about a 45 minute ride back to my home from the city and I was fine when I jumped into the cab I felt fine but about 10 minutes away from home I started to feel really sick so I got the cabbie to pull over and I vomited on the side of the street you're really good too <laughs> So, luckily I made it home in one piece after that. By that point I was feeling sick and a little bit out of it, but still not out of control. So I got home, I um, walked up the stairs to my bedroom. I sat on my bed, <clears throat> I put the heater on because it was um, winter at the time, it was really cold, put the heater on, grabbed my phone, it was a flip phone by the way, so at the, at the time smartphones didn't exist, this was 12 years ago, so I pulled out my flip phone, ready to um, call Christian and tell him that I'm ready to be picked up so that I could meet him and our other friends at the pub. <clears throat> Next minute, <laughs> Next minute. Um, it is the morning, not, not the wee hours of the morning, the actual next morning, as in sunny, birds chirping, it's definitely past 10 a.m. And I just have this re immediate reaction of fuck. <laughs> so here I was lying on my bed. I was actually sprawled out on my bed, like arms and legs sprawled out. Still in my, my ball gown, my cocktail dress. With the phone in my hand. Flipped open. Just lying on the bed like that. Somehow I passed out from the moment I sat on the bed and went to call Christian. Something happened and I just, I passed out. I, I don't know what happened.
it was either it was probably a combination of the alcohol the cold weather and me being tired and alcohol actually makes me quite tired or sleepy so it was probably all of that i don't think i passed out drunk i think it was more um combo of being drunk and sleepy at least that's what i like to tell myself <laughs> So I wake up and realize what's happened. Oh shit. Look at my phone. And there are naturally a billion missed calls and texts from Christian saying, Where are you? Where are you? What's going on? Where are you? And I felt so bad. So I um I called him straight away and explained what happened. He actually knew I was um going to that event that night, so he was really worried about what happened because I'd told him when I got in the cab that I'm coming home. So he's probably thinking, what the fuck has happened to her? And I still feel really bad to this day that that happened because I know I would be really scared if someone who I was close with kind of went missing for the evening and I couldn't contact them. So I called him and apologized and explained what happened. I also had another part-time job that I worked during the evenings and I was due to work that evening the next day the evening of the next day <clears throat> but i felt way too hungover to do it so i called in sick there and i met up with christian and he took me to get pizza greasy food to help with the hangover and yeah <laughs> that is the story of how i passed out in a beautiful expensive ball gown dress and freaked my boyfriend out by going missing for I don't know how long six hours seven hours eight hours <laughs> I wish I had a photo of this dress it was gorgeous but it was on my old laptop that um lost memory or lost its memory something happened and it wouldn't turn on anymore and me being the silly little thing that I am didn't back up at the time so I lost everything on that laptop it was this really nice um off the shoulder dress sweetheart cut neckline really tight sort of corset around the waist and then it flounced out at the um, skirt and it was black obviously because I don't know if you can tell I like black um, and it was kind of a not fully shiny but sort of like it had a little bit of a sheen to it and a really nice black fabric a little bit textured with a nice sheen so I really love that dress I did give it away couple of years ago though because I just never wear it I never go anywhere where I need to wear it So yeah, <clears throat> it's 
just a silly little story that I thought you might find amusing. I know I did, <laughs> even though it was, I still feel bad that it happened, but I also think it's kind of amusing, so. <laughs> fuck is that? There are some idiots outside my window. Well, I don't know about you, but I think this has been the world's shittest mukbang. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you think if you want me to do another one. I, like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing and I feel really nervous talking and eating at the same time and I feel like I haven't eaten enough. Um, I can, um, I can do more story times. Or you can leave me topics you want me to talk about. Doing a mukbang it's definitely a lot harder than I thought or a lot harder than it looks it takes some skill I think to keep um, a viewer engaged and talk to them and talk to the camera in a certain way And for someone who's shy and awkward like me, I find it really hard. <clears throat> I almost feel like I'm, it's forced, kind of, like I'm not being as natural as I can be, but I am, <laughs> so I don't know how to explain explain that. Um. Maybe it's just me putting pressure on myself and that is making me feel like the video is going to turn out bad. That's probably what I'm feeling. I think we'll let Queen Madison stick to the mukbangs and I'll stick to ASMR <laughs> because she's really really good at mukbang. I love all her stories and um, she's so funny and really good with talking to the camera. Energetic, bubbly. Sometimes I feel like I'm just kind of Monoton monotonous? Monotone? Yeah, I don't know. That's why I like ASMR, because I don't have to say anything. I think I know the feeling I'm thinking of. Judgment. <clears throat> I feel like when I sit in front of the camera, I'm so exposed and vulnerable. And I feel like I can feel the judgment that's going to come, you know, from the people who leave nasty comments or the haters. It's like I can feel them there watching it now. What are they going to say? That sort of thing. So it makes me really vulnerable. Um, I think that's the best way to describe how I feel when I have to talk in front of the camera. Or 
show my face in front of the camera. I don't know. an idiot. <laughs> I should have made Madison's Ranch for this video. She always always talks about her ranch recipe and I always forget to make it. <laughs> This is a big ass piece of cake <clears throat> and I almost almost screwed up the recipe yesterday I put in double the amount of flour I was using um a half cup measurement to get the flour from the packet and for some reason I thought I had a quarter cup not a half cup so I ended up doubling it mm. luckily I realized and I was able to scoop it all out so I didn't ruin the cake. That would have really sucked. I hate wasting ingredients and when something you put your time and effort into in anything really but particularly in the kitchen with cooking doesn't turn out. I really hate that. This cake, by the way, is um, non-vegan approved, if that makes sense. Meaning, non-vegans recommend this cake. What I mean by that is every non-vegan I've given this cake to has loved it. One of them even said it was the best chocolate cake she's ever had. Um, they've asked me for the recipe so if you are someone who is not vegan and has a vegan friend or acquaintance and you need to make them something definitely make this cake um, or if you are a vegan and you need to take something to a non-vegan um, household or a dinner or a potluck or something definitely make this cake because non-vegans will love it it's um it's one of those things that <clears throat> they'll taste and they'll be like wow that's not vegan <laughs> this is one of those cakes I think the secret is there's a lot of oil in this cake I guess in place of eggs and it makes it really soft and fluffy and moist and rich <laughs> I 
Okay, I think I've got to stop after this bite because I'm full. I'm going to feel sick if I have any more cake. I already had a big slice yesterday for my ASMR video and I gotta stop eating crap food. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop here. Probably got chocolate all over my teeth. Um, but thank you so much for watching, guys. Please go check out Madison's video now to see her do some ASMR. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.